let's see how to actually add an index number and what is the use of index number index number can be used in different ways but i'm going to show you how to use index number a number right now so let's say you actually don't want this particular column to be joined with your uh, product here so you can actually have this removed and create a separate table for it and have a particular you know um what i call it you have a particular id that will link it to this particular table for you to actually have some sync so how do you do that i'm going to right click here and click on duplicate so with this duplicate right here i'm going to name this one my product word i'm going to take off this i'm going to just right here um brand so brand lookup so we have to take off these two here so we have this new table right now in this new table what we just want to have right in this table is just this particular brand so if i right click i can remove other columns that actually give me this column right here so before we go on we want to have the unique list of the brands that we actually have in our company so what i will do now we have different options to do that so you can go to home on the home you can see where it says remove rows right here if you click on that you can see where it says remove duplicates and you go right here it helps you to remove the duplicates and it's going to keep you the um value that is actually unique so we have the unique list so another way to do the same thing i'm going to remove this one now is for you to right click and you're going to see where it says remove uh, duplicates i think that is going to be this one here so remove duplicates and that gives you just unique list of your brands so after this right now you have to make sure it has connection to the main product lookup where we actually you know got it from to do that right now you can go to add column right here from add column you can see where it says index column so when you open it and see this drop down you can see from zero from one and custom if I just say from zero, which means my ID now will start from zero down to the last number. If I open it up right now, you can see we have over 110 brands. So what do we do now? Uh, we can just go ahead and use the next one again from one, and this starts from one. And the custom one, let's see how it looks. Custom. So you're going to be the one to customize it and you tell Power Query how you want it to go. Let it start in to be 10, for example, and you want there to be an increment of 20 every single time. And if I click on OK right now, we have 10, 30, 50, 70, 90. You can see it's increment of 10 every single time. This is gonna be our ID. We can just you know uh, choose which one we want to go by. I think I'll prefer going with this one or eight of this is cool so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off so this one now is our brand id brand id so i've got I've just got my id here so so we have to make sure we get this id here into our product lookup and still have the id here but have the product brand deleted from our product lookup how do we do that that is gonna look like a magic yeah for sure if you have done this before you know what i'm trying to get into just go ahead and click on the product lookup itself so here is what we have gotten there so we're going to remove this from here but not now yet so click back on home and um we're going to see on this right hand corner right here where it says query merge queries so if i open it up you can see merge queries as new and we have made queries what this particular match query does is this it's going to actually override this particular current table right here so the match query as new we create a separate table to actually merge this particular new uh, product brand lookup we just created into it and this one will remain where it is so because i don't want to actually take this off i just want to show you as an example how this can work okay rather right let me override it because i'm just going to use this one to create a relationship for you to see how we can connect both of them together so right now i'm going to override this particular one right here by clicking on this one you can try to see how this one works which we're going to still try in this particular you know course let's see so when you click on that this is what you have so you have to look for what are those common things between those two tables so i'm going to bring this one up that is going to be my brand 
where are you? So here we go. This is the new one we created. So we have to come on to between those two, these two tables right here. That's going to be the product brand and the product brand right here. So you need to have, you know, all equal numbers between here and here. That gives you 100% merge. Don't touch this particular kind of join. So you just always use left outer join. Leave it this way and you're good to go. Go ahead and click on OK. So you're going to have this. So the next thing now, you have to open it up right here. And it's going to give you all the columns you have right here in your table. So the next thing you do is for you to make sure you come here and select this particular one, brand name. We are, we're going to leave this particular brand ID. I don't want to use the table as prefix. I'm going to click on OK. So right now we have our brand ID right here. So if you see 10 repetitively, so that means this 10 is actually the same brand. If you see 30 repetitively, that means 30, 50, that repeat itself is the same brand. So we just have to navigate to this part here and we can remove this away from here. We don't need it. We all now, we now have a new key to actually help us to connect to this particular table. Don't worry, when we go into the modeling, you would understand all we are doing right here, right now. What about this? So now you've just seen how to actually add index number and what index number can do. So we have many ways to use index number, but this is just one way to actually add index number. Do not say you don't know what is index number. Right now, you've just learned about what index number is and how you can use it to your advantage. What about this?